Hey tennis fans, I'm Blair Henley and welcome to the Tennis Now News Update. It's been a busy week in the tennis world, so let's get to it. The coaching carousel is picking up speed this offseason. Sloan Stevens has reportedly signed on to work with Pete Sampras and Roger Federer's former coach Paul Anacone, while Maria Sharapova has confirmed she's joined forces with Sven Groeneveld, whose resume boasts players from Monica Seles to Caroline Wozniacki. Meanwhile, Serena Williams seems to be doing just fine with her coach and boyfriend, Patrick Moratoglu, leading CNN to come out with a story this week titled, Down and Out in Paris, The Man Who Rescued Serena Williams. Predictably, Serena wasn't a fan of that headline. She responded on Friday with this tweet, Philippians 413, For all things I have the strength by virtue of him who imparts power to me, never from man. Whatever Martoglu's role, he seems to think pretty highly of Williams, and rightly so. You know it's not about the strokes, it's about what you have inside. She has something really special inside. She doesn't think like, all, like other players. She's really unique. Finally, Williams left us scratching our heads this week when she tweeted, From now on, just call me Rena. She's been using the hashtag Rena's Army for months now, but how serious is she about the name change? We'll keep you posted. Rafa Nadal and Novak Djokovic were in Chile this week along with David Nelbandian and Nicholas Massu. The group participated in an exhibition match and kids clinic in honor of Massu's recent retirement, but not before spending some time with the press. Nadal gave us all a laugh when he was asked to translate an English comment to Spanish. Instead, he started translating English to English. Good thing Nelbandian was there to set him straight. Well, he said that uh... For all of us, it's a, it's a privilege to play for our country, defend the... Ah, sí, perdona, coño, no digo español. Muy bien, ¿eh? Bernard Tomic celebrated his 21st birthday about a month ago, and it appears the party is still going strong. The world number 51 was photographed in some compromising positions in an Australian club called, you guessed it, Sin City. As has become the norm for Bernie, he clearly wasn't concerned about keeping up appearances. No word on whether he eventually found his shirt. Speaking of wild and crazy tennis players, Mike Bryan posted this picture of himself with the one and only Rafa Nadal from their stay on Richard Branson's private island. We can only imagine what they must have been doing to produce such epic amounts of sweat. Dancing? Wind sprints? We may never know. Maria Sharapova and Grigor Dimitrov are still going strong. At least that's what this recent photo leads us to believe. The two attended the 75th birthday party of legendary coach Robert Lansdorp this week, along with former world number ones Tracy Austin and Lindsay Davenport. In addition, Sharapova helped launch the new Porsche Macan in LA as part of her role as the first female brand ambassador for the company. She hung out with celebs like Patrick Dempsey and upped the drama factor with an electrifying arrival. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Porsche ambassador, Ms. Maria Sharapova. And congratulations are in order for 67-year-old tennis legend Ili Nastasi, who has tied the knot with his longtime girlfriend in his home country of Romania. Let's hope Nastasi is better behaved in his marriage than he was on the tennis court. Roger Federer, Andy Murray, and Thomas Burdage were all named to GQ's list of the 20 most stylish athletes of 2013, and we're not at all surprised. But we are thinking Rafa should have gotten an honorable mention, but we'll let it slide this time. That's all for today's Tennis Now news update. Do you think Sharapova and Groneveld will last? What about Sharapova and Dimitrov? Will Bernard Tonic regret those nightclub photos? Let us know in the comment section below and be sure to sign up for our YouTube channel so you don't miss a thing. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.